Machine learning with Swift Playground? It's something I thought was out of reach and really confusing, but in the latest update to Swift Playgrounds, Apple has given us a sample project, which is the perfect starting point down this rabbit hole. Let's talk about Swift Playgrounds 4.2. So Swift Playgrounds 4.2 has some good quality of life improvements. It improves the UI, it improves the user experience, and it adds two new sample projects. One guide for laying out views, which is great if you're just getting started with Swift UI, but the one that's more interesting to me is the sample project on machine learning. Machine learning is something that I have personally been interested in for a while now. It's something that I've thought was always too complex and difficult and basically unattainable for someone doing programming as a hobby. But this sample project has gotten my wheels turning, and that's why I love Swift Playground so much, because it simplifies these complex things and makes them attainable for someone who doesn't have a lot of time or experience. It's the perfect thing for that use case. It is a blessing and a curse though, because it is a sample project after all, which means it just scratches the surface. That being said, this project does an amazing job of teaching you those core concepts and really showcasing the power of machine learning. The project itself is pretty simple. It walks you through turning a rock, paper, scissors game from a touch input into being able to actually show the camera scissors, paper, and rock with your own hands. And then in real time, it adjusts your move accordingly. It's pretty cool and it really gets to the core concepts of what machine learning is capable of. Fundamentally, Swift Playgrounds is a great tool, but as you might guess, it's not perfect. Here's a video you should watch if you want to know what I don't like. See you in the next one.